What's going on everyone? Welcome to another video. Now today I am bringing you my choice for Cigar of the Week this week, which is the Davidoff Winston Churchill Petite Corona. Now this is a four and a half by 41 stick. Simply stunning to look at. It's got that beautiful white and gold band with uh, Winston Churchill's silhouette just on there. And the wrapper is silky smooth to the touch. It's absolutely stunning. It's got an Ecuadorian wrapper, Mexican binder, and Dominican and Nicaraguan fillers with all within this very small Vitola. So you know you're gonna be in for something very special. But let's stop talking. Let's get it cut and lit. I'll see you in a few. So guys, I've just about come through the first third of this cigar today and the flavours have been really nice. It's quite early for me to record this video today, but the flavours have been super palatable. I've really enjoyed them. I'm getting some real nice leather, cedar and woody notes, almost like a very mature wood. Um, it's very well rounded. It's not kind of just punching me in the palate at all, but really nice and enjoyable. The burn line has been very consistent and it's actually taken a lot longer for me to get to this point that I was ex than I was expecting. Given the size of this cigar, you tend to find with the smaller cigars, they tend to burn quite quickly. But this has probably taken me about a good 20 minutes to get to this point. Really, really enjoyable. I'm hoping to see some massive development of flavor in the second third, but let's see where it goes. I'll join you in a few. Peace. So guys, I'm nearly at the end of the middle third of this cigar and the flavors have really, really developed. Um, the leatherness and the sweetness have really come through. The room note is impeccable. The construction, phenomenal. I can wax lyrical about this cigar till the cows come home. This cigar is nicknamed The Artist and that was given to the fact that Winston Churchill himself loved to paint landscapes. And this is a work of art in itself. It's a beautiful cigar. I'm really, really enjoying this. I am gonna to struggle to put this one down, but I'm gonna keep going. The band's about to come off. Let's see what that final third has got in store. I'm expecting some big things. There's a pepperiness that's just about coming through. And that Nicaraguan mineraliness in the filler leaves and the, uh, they're just right hitting on my palate beautifully. Let's see what it's got. I'll see you in a second. So guys, I've just about come to the end of my time with this cigar today. In fact, I've had to pull out my perfect draw tool because I really wanted to get every last second out of this cigar. I've enjoyed it so much. In that final third, the flavors have really intensified. That Nicaraguan mineraliness has really come through. There's the Dominican smoothness that's come there. There's that Mexican spice as well. And the Ecuadorian, it's a very hard note to put on with the Ecuadorian. It's kind of, uh, it's almost Christmassy with the Ecuadorian wrapper. It's been beautiful and I've really enjoyed it. If you want to pick up one for yourself, and I suggest picking up one or two, head over to the website now, it's cigars.com, that's C-G-A-R-S.com. And if you've liked this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. And let me know in the comments section what you think my next Cigar of the Week should be. Until next time, please take care of yourselves and Merry Christmas. Cheers.